Hi everyone, I'm Kenneth, and today we have a Comio tutorial. We're going to learn how to create a wallet using the Polka.js Chrome extension. Then we're also going to be using a community built explorer. Then we're going to create the wallet, we're going to stake, and then we're going to unstake. Quick and easy. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so start up your Chrome browser. You can open up the link to download this extension in the description below, so you don't need to remember as usual. Click on add to Chrome. Then add the extension. Okay then, you can just close this little box. Now if you want to pin it to the menu, you can go up to the extension button, go down and click on the pin. A bit easier to find it that way. All right, open up the extension. Now read through this, it's good information as usual. It tells you what they do not do. Now understood and let me continue. Now if you're creating a new account, you can just go ahead and press the big plus button. But you can also import an existing seed phrase if you want to. So if you go up to the plus button here and click on import account for pre-existing seed, that's how you import your other accounts. But we're going to go ahead and create a new one. Click the big plus button. Now make sure you save your seed phrase somewhere securely. I hear horror stories about how people say that kind of stuff. Once you have saved it securely, tick the box that you have. And then we click the next step. Okay, now you enter a description for your wallet. It's quite good to have so you can tell them apart. That's a good name, solid. Type in your password. Good to remember these things. A lot of time people create wallets testing and then they get stuck with one, they forget their password. Don't do that. And just click, you want to add the account for the generated seed. And there we go. Now we have our wallet created. Quick and easy, right? Now I also want you to verify something with your a new wallet. So if you go up to the three little dots next to your wallet, and I want to make sure that you have verified that it says allow to use on any chain. All right, once you verify that, you can just go ahead and close this. Now you can go ahead and open up a new tab. In this tab, you can go to communeai.net. You can use your existing tab if you want to. <laughs> this, this will open up the new explorer of a commune that is made by a community member. I would like to give him or her a shout out, but I don't actually know who it is. So if anybody knows, let us know in the comments so we can give them some respect, all right? I think that's good. Okay, once the page has loaded, it's gonna instantly recognize that you have the new Poco.js installed. So you can just go ahead and authorize this. You can see it up here that it's asking for the auth. And just click yes, allow this application access. All right, so this is the new Explorer. I want you to go ahead and click on account. And now you can see here that your extension is linked. And you can also see if you have any commune on the account. And can you can also verify that it is the same wallet. Now we are gonna do some staking. Now for me to be able to stake, I needed some funds on this account. So you can see here that I have already transferred some. Now, go ahead and open up the developer menu and then click on Extrinsics. Now, on this menu, check the top that your wallet is picked. It should be. Next, click on the system menu and then subspace module. Next, click on add stake, not add stake multiple. There's two options there. Add stake is just for one. Once you pick that, make sure that you have the first row and that is the row for the net UID. That needs to be zero. The next row is where you put in the key. This is the key to the validator that you're going to be staking against. To find a list of validators, you can install Commune on your computer. You can find a guide for that here. Or you can just jump onto Discord. That's where I found this key. This key is for the community validator. We're going to stake 10 Commune, but to do that, you need to add 10 plus 9 zeros afterwards. I normally do that in a series of three, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You can do it any way you want. Just make sure you get nine zeros. Once you've entered the amount that you want to stake with the nine zeros, go down and click on submit transaction. Now you need to authorize the transaction. You can check here that you're, that you're using the correct wallet and you can also see what details are gonna be sent with this transaction. Once you checked everything is correct, click on sign and submit. Now enter the password for your wallet. Once you've done that, you can just sign the transaction. All right, and in the top right corner, you can see how the transaction is going. Now you can see that it's done. 
All right, so if you go up and click on the accounts menu again, you can see here that I used to have 50 and now I have 40, which means that I have staked 10. But you can also verify that if you want to. You can go up to the developer menu and click on chain state. From here, if you go to the first option, it's subspace module again. On the next option, you want to check who you have staked to, and that one is called stake two. You want to make sure that your wallet is picked because you want to see who you have staked to. Once you've done that, just click on the plus symbol up in the top right corner and you will get an instant reply. Now, I waited a while before doing this. You won't notice that in the video, of course, just to show you that you can check how much you have been earning while staking. I staked 10, but you can see here that there's extra numbers. That means I have earned this while staking. You can normally just wait an hour to see a difference if you want to. All right, let's continue. All right, let's go ahead and do some unstaking. Go up to the developer menu and click on your stream six again. Make sure that your wallet is the selected one. Go down to the system menu, to the subspace module. Next, we want to remove stake. So you click remove stake. The net UID needs to be zero. On the key, you need to pick the key or the validator that you staked against. Here, you put in the amount that you want to unstake. And remember, we needed to add nine zeros at the end. And then submit transaction, check, sign and submit, put in your password, and then just sign the transaction. And you can always see at the top right corner what's going on and that it's working on something. And that is done. Nice and easy. There we go. We have created a wallet and we have staked and unstaked. Quick, fast and simple. Now don't forget, when you unstake, if your intention is to unstake everything, make sure that you add the amount that you have earned as well. We, not, we did not do that in this case. So I still have a little bit left on that validator. That is good to remember. All right, people, take care. I hope you have fun. See ya.